Hello everyone, my name is Brendan Snyder. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to Five Favorite Box Sets. So most of you know I've got a huge music collection, well over 11,000 CDs included in that, but I've also got over 200 box sets. And while I typically focus on the CD or the album itself and talk a lot about that and things that I do, different countdowns and rankings and whatnot, I thought it'd be fun to change a little bit and take a look at box sets. We all love the format. Uh, you get to have a deeper look into your favorite artist and band. You get a lot of uh, sometimes unreleased tracks, B-sides, outtakes, all those kinds of things. So I thought it'd be great to take a look at some of my favorite box sets. But before we dive into all of that, if you are new to my channel and haven't already hit the subscribe button, please click the button. Also leave a comment, hit like, all those things help support my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And of course, as an added bonus by subscribing, you'll be able to stay up to date on all that's going on in the world of music, just like this with five favorite box sets. So this is no particular order and uh, just five favorite box sets for a lot of different reasons that I'll try to get into here. And the first one going to Bon Jovi. 100 million Bon Jovi fans can't be wrong. It came out in 2004. Uh, this one here being four CDs and one DVD. We'll open it up here and you can take a quick peek inside of uh, how this thing was laid out. Uh, this is the booklet that's here and it uh, actually slides out uh, the side there like that and off of that so you can enjoy it. There's the back side of it giving you the breakdown on everything. So 51 tracks included on those four CDs and broke down into things like demos, B-sides, bonus tracks, outtakes, soundtrack recordings. What I really liked about this particular box set and what I like about a lot of the box sets are when they give you things that aren't available on albums. And so this particular box set here, all 51 of the tracks are that way. They are non-album released tracks. Um, most of these being whether they're the demos or the outtakes or whatever are completely unreleased in any uh, way, shape or form. So a lot of cool unreleased Bon Jovi, basically like having four new albums worth of songs from them and being a huge fan, you know, why wouldn't you want that? And so this was released to celebrate their 20th anniversary but also to celebrate the milestone of having sold 100 million albums, hence the title. It's also a play on the Elvis uh, title of the same thing. So, uh, of course, them all being big uh, Elvis fans and whatnot. And uh, there was a cool promo that was released, a 10-track sampler. So not something you could buy in stores, but really cool distilling the four CDs down into a single disc of 10 tracks. I picked mine up, I think, off of eBay or something like that. But um, very, very cool. If you can track one down and you don't have the box set, it's kind of like a brand new album by uh, Bon Jovi that way. All right, next one goes to... Uh, Bruce Springsteen uh, tracks from 1998. Uh, I don't know which way is really the right way to hold this thing. It opens this way, so that's why I'm holding it that way. But of course, he's laying down on a couch. So um, here's the back side of it. It is four CDs, features 66 tracks. Uh, again, most of these um, never released in any format before. Um, book there in the, um, the center of it uh, just uh, lifts and slides out like that through it. And then, of course, each of these, uh, the discs are behind those sort of things. Um, so, yeah, four CDs, 66 tracks, uh, most of them never before released, uh, recorded during different album sessions, uh, B-sides, demos, alternate versions, and so forth. But even the alternate versions are wildly different. Uh, like Born in the USA is a real slowed down version that was actually recorded during the Nebraska sessions. Um, so before it actually got developed into what we know it as from the album of the same name. But of the unreleased songs, there's some really good ones on here. And, you know, Springsteen's always been known for being really prolific for um, these three albums, Darkness on the Edge of Town, The River, and Born in the USA. He was known for having written more than 50 songs for each of those albums. So he just has a crazy catalog worth of unreleased material. No problem then to put this box set together. I keep hoping he will do a Tracks Volume 2. Uh, some of the last few albums he has grabbed some of these old tracks and created uh, new albums from them. Uh, some of the album box sets like The River, Darkness on the Edge of Town, he put together uh, 
new albums worth of those tracks and included it in the box sets. So he's been doing a lot of archival stuff and uh, you know, fortunately us the fans, we are benefiting from it. And then um, there was a, a, a sampler of it that was released to stores called 18 Tracks. So a best of from this box set, distilling it down. So if you wanna just check out a single disc worth, there is that. Okay, next one is Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, the live anthology 2009. Um, great box set. Um, there was a standard edition for CD that I don't have to show you, 48 tracks. This one here is the deluxe edition that was a Best Buy exclusive featuring nine discs inside here, which broke down into five CDs, two DVDs, one LP, and one Blu-ray audio disc. So uh, you can see um, all of that breakdown listed here on the back side of it. And um, what I really liked about this one here, um, most of you guys know I'm not a big fan of live albums. This, I would say, is the exception to that rule. Um, one, the live versions that are on here are focus on the concert performance and the experience. A lot of cases, they are different than the album versions. So they're not just straight representations. Again, giving you something different in this box set here. The tracks are also not sequenced chronologically. Uh, they're arranged um, for each of these discs in order to be like they're their own show. So he did a selection of tracks, arrange them how they would play out best over a single disc. Then they mix them together to sound like one complete show, even though they're recorded at all different shows and so forth. But what's also cool is there's a number of songs that never were recorded studio-wise, and there's 17 cover songs on here. So you're still getting a bunch of cool unreleased stuff in that regard. Um, Inside here, I'm going to open this up real quick, try and give you a little bit of a show of what's in here. Um, so, uh, cool memorabilia behind that, a booklet right on top. Uh, you can see some cool backstage passes there. Um, you've got the vinyl that's right on top of this. And then behind that, you can see some more memorabilia. That's actually the box set of the CDs there. And then the DVDs that are down there. So a lot of cool stuff in here. Um, some of these, like uh, this one in particular, I've done a full review on. I'm going to leave a link in the description uh, below so you can check it out, uh, as well as uh, the last two of these that I'm going to do here also have full reviews. Okay, so the next one. Neil Young Archives Volume 2, which spans from 72 to 76. I'm spinning it around because you can see it spells out Neil Young on it. Uh, so kind of cool. Um, this came out in 2020. So this one here is uh, probably the newest one that I'm showing you here today. And you can see on the top there how the stuff is uh, held in there. The, the 10 CDs are within there, the book, poster, and so forth. Um, of these... Uh, discs that are in here, uh, three of the discs had been previously released, but that still left seven uh, discs in here that were totally worth having on their own right, in all featuring 131 tracks. Now, some of these tracks do duplicate, but they're different versions and they are spaced throughout, so none of them are duplicating on the same disc or you know back-to-back -back kind of a thing, which is something I really don't like. 63 are previously unreleased. You get alternate versions, different mixes, live versions, and unreleased songs. And 12 of the tracks on here never released in any form whatsoever. And from Neil Young, that's kind of a big deal. And so I'm not gonna pull out all the discs and stuff that are in here, but I did wanna pull out and show you the cool book that this comes with. So this, um, box set, which is the second in the series of his archival releases, uh, was limited to an initial run of 3,000 copies selling out the first day. This one that you see here is website only. You can't buy it through Amazon or anything like that. Later, he did do a second run of this that's a little different, as well as um, a much smaller version of this without the book that's available on Amazon and whatnot. Um, the front part of this is the um, hype sticker, but also the signed uh, certificate of authenticity. And um, the book itself is just beautifully done. A lot of great images and stuff like that. And as we get to the back of this in here, it's got uh, track by track commentary and whatnot. 
going through the whole thing. Uh, if I can get into it back here in the back of this. There we go, stuff like that. So just lots and lots of cool info, but fabric bound leather corners, uh, just really cool uh, type of thing that's done. Uh, in all, this is a, a really expensive one. It was a $250 box set versus I think the $150 version that's a much smaller one without the book that's available on Amazon. Whether the book and, and how it's done and the signed certificate of authenticity makes it fully worth that, uh, still up for debate. But the, the material that came in this and those unreleased tracks and how these uh, discs were sequenced and whatnot, in my opinion, totally worth it for that sort of uh, stuff. All right, now the next one here, very cool. Uh, ACDC uh, Backtracks from 2009. Two versions of this available. Uh, we got the standard edition and the one I'm holding here, the super deluxe edition of it. And so uh, it's a collection of both studio and live rarities uh, featuring, you know, non-album A size, B size, soundtrack recordings. So the standard edition, this one here, is a two CD, one DVD, the two discs in here, disc one, studio rarities, and disc two, live rarities, and then the DVD that's in here um, is uh, Family Jewels 3. And so, um, just opens up like this, book, discs, and uh, this side over here does the same, if I can get to it, there we go. So, um, that's this one, very simply done. Uh, so if you want just a pared down one, this one is a great one. But the deluxe one, which was website only, and is this one here, made to look like an amp. Not only was it made to look like an amp, it's actually a real working amp. You can actually, uh, there you go, plug into it uh, with your guitar, and it really works. Uh, you know, there's a speaker in here and everything. That actually comes out of the top of it there. But uh, this thing here, real working ACDC amp, pretty cool. So this one here though uh, has three CDs with disc three being more live rarities. It's a two, got two DVDs in it. So the second DVD has the Circus Crone Germany concert, which I have to say is a really, really cool show. Don't know why this was never released at the time when it was shot, but it's very, very good. Uh, it's also got one LP in here, which takes 12 unique studio rarities, puts them on that disc uh, six aside hardcover book, replica memorabilia, and as I said, the working amp. So uh, this thing here, um, the, the top of this just pulls right off of it, and then you get into it there with the stuff. And um, right when we pull out from the front, this has all the memorabilia stuff, and it just lifts off the top there, and uh, you got everything on the inside. You've then got uh, really great uh, book, as always. I mean, these things usually have some you know, amazing pictures and stuff a lot of times these get referred to as like you know coffee table style book or whatever um, but just great great uh, imagery not a lot to read in this one or anything like that but cool uh, stuff to take a look at and then we've got uh, the discs themselves which come in this thing open that up there you get all your your discs in this um, this is the you know info track uh, booklet that it comes with and then you get the vinyl, which I've actually never taken out, just simply called Rarities, uh, but there you go. And those are the unique tracks that are uh, on this vinyl. So there you go. That is uh, five favorite box sets for you guys to have a look at and get some insight into the types of box sets that I really enjoy, but also hopefully maybe if you've never uh, checked these out, maybe you'll want to go check these out now. And as I mentioned, um, I have done reviews for Tom Petty Live Anthology, Neil Young Archives 2, and the ACDC Backtracks. So I'm gonna leave links to those in the description in case you wanna check those out in their full unboxing glory uh, that they are. All right, uh, again, hopefully you enjoyed this, and if you did, please consider sharing this out on social media, help spread the word that way. I would greatly appreciate it. All right, everyone, have a good day, take care, and I'll talk to you all real soon. Bye-bye.